Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Irene and today I'll show you a Dollar Tree Milk Pail Makeover. I'm going to make over this Dollar Tree Milk Pail and I'll use cast elements for these. I recently bought new malls and I'm really excited to give them a try. Today I used Fimo Basic Self Hardening Clay and actually I didn't like this brand. This clay is very soft and it was difficult to remove a cast from the mold lost its shape immediately. The only way to solve this is to freeze it before taking out, but I didn't want to make. I made a rooster and I'm attaching it to the bucket using white glue. Sorry for the poorly washed brush here. I decided to frame the rooster with a wreath and I used a Christmas wreath mold, but I made two halves of the wreath separately, without a bow. I tried my best to arrange the branches symmetrically. And I'm decorating the top edge of the pail with a beaded cast. I love this mold very much. I'm waiting till the clay dries well. It sticks very well to a metal surface, but you can hot glue it if it comes loose. And after that, I'll paint the pail. I'm using a leftover homemade chalk paint. I used it for painting Easter bunnies and I'll leave you the link to the video with the recipe. After drying, I'm dry brushing the surface cream using a rough bristle brush. And I'm applying quite a lot of paint to make the pail creamy and only the crevices stay beige. This provides a very nice vintage feel. In the end, I'm sealing it with wax and we're done. I think the pail looks very from housey now and I'm going to use it as a base for wildflowers or just as a rustic style kitchen decoration. Well, I hope you liked this makeover. Actually, you can make over any vase or a tin can planter like this. Thanks for being here and we'll see you in my next video. Bye!